the channel. Today I want to talk to you about the We The People Freedom Holster. This is their first foray into a dedicated appendix carry, but it's not really dedicated appendix carry, and I'm going to tell you about that here in a minute. Now before I get too deep into the Freedom platform, uh, and yes, it is a platform, it's got lots of different ways you can wear it. Before I get into that, I want to show you really quickly this Don't Tread On Me holster I just got from them. I'm not going to review this one because I've already reviewed the exact same holster but in a gray and then the same holster basically except for the outside the waistband paddle holster that they do. It's the same body but it's got a paddle on it but I just wanted to show you the Don't Tread On Me pattern that I recently got from them good holster. I've actually started carrying this one instead of the gray one when I go for the single pistol carry as opposed to a sidecar type appendix carry for my G19 with the light and optic. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I really like it. They have tons of different patterns and colors to choose from so check them out. One last thing before we get into the Freedom holster are these guys right here. And these are not just bullets, but they are hoodie pulls. You put them on your hoodie strings. Now, I don't wear hoodies, but uh, here it is. It's missing the primer, as you can see there. And you unscrew the projectile, the fake projectile. You put your string through there, tie the knot in it, let the string go back up into the case. Screw it back down. And then you have this hanging from the strings of your hoodie. That is a really cool little stocking stuffer idea. Uh, I like these, they're not very expensive. If you have a shooter in your life that wears hoodies, these are a perfect little gift. Now what is my relationship with We The People Holsters? To get that out of the way, they sent me this and they send me something every month. Uh, although that does not change my reviews. Anybody that knows me and knows my reviews knows that I am completely honest. Whether it is sent to me free, whether I buy it, uh, and even if it means that I keep or lose relationships with vendors. Uh, I am completely honest with, the, with my reviews all the time and uh, that does not change the, the fact that I get it for free or no matter what my relationship is. Now, to, now this Freedom platform, to my knowledge, is the only holster of its kind. And if there is another one, I don't know of it. And why is that? It's not just a flexible appendix carry holster. It is everything. As you can see here, as you can see here, it is fully ambidextrous. It's got all the same holes that are required for left or right-handed shooting. It's got the appendix carry. It's got inside the waistband in any position for separate uh, mag and holster. It's got a paddle that is comes with it. It's got a foaming clip for just the holster and you can also put two guns together if you want. So this has everything in it that you could want for any carry position, left or right-handed, paddle uh, or inside the waistband, individual pistol, individual mag carrier, appendix carry with the attached mag carrier, everything. So let's get down to the tailgate take a look at what's inside the box, take a closer look at the holster, some of the things I like about it and some of the things I don't like about it. So to start with, let's go with, you can see what is already on here. It's got the two belt clips that are independent of each other. It's got the mag carrier attached with bungee, you know, with shot cord. On the holster itself, it has hole placement for a claw to come up if you want. Uh, or other types of belt clips. It's got belt clip for the, or the holes for the foamy clip or for the paddle. On the other side, you can kind of see what maybe these are hiding a little bit, but it's got the different adjustments in different spots for left and right-handed shooters uh, and all the different additions and clips for it. It is pretty much a full sweat guard on both sides. Uh, I actually kind of prefer mid sweat guard, but it does have the full sweat guard on both sides, again, for left and right-handed shooters. So what's in the box? In the box, in this Freedom Platform box, 
comes your paperwork and stuff. These are bags. Everything is individually bagged. And I've taken most of the stuff out of the bags already. Here's another set of belt clips for it. And this is the extra set for you to run this separate from that and put different belt clips on it. If you want to run one belt clip or two belt clips on it, you know, like so, or something along those lines. This is again an empty one. This has hardware, all the bushings and spacers and screws and uh, rubber pieces and all that that would require to change the thing in and out of different carry positions and different belt clips. Empty. Here is the claw spacer. I have the claw on a different holster right now, but you can get the different claw spacers as well. Instead of putting the claw on the Freedom Platform, I put it on this and uh, this just pops on and off and you can put thicker one on. And this one is closed P-style, P-clip style belt loops. I haven't even opened it up yet because I didn't intend on running the holster like that, but this style of belt loop for outside the waistband carry with the holster and mag carrier. And here is the foamy clip that is on the standard holster and on in here is the paddle. And this is the standard paddle for their outside the waistband holsters. That is everything you get with the Freedom Platform. Again, this does everything that a bunch of different separate holster platforms would do all in one box for about the same price as the mid or even expensive price of just an appendix carry holster of this style. These are normally, uh, if you buy this from other companies, are normally you know in that hundred plus dollar range, 130, 150, 160 dollar range. Uh, whereas this one comes in at a competitive price with those and you get everything else with it. Now I would have normally gotten this for the G19, but I carry, because I carry the G19 most often, uh, and while this is optic cut, it, they do not make a light bearing model of it right now. I don't know if they're planning on doing so, but that's why I got it for the G43 because it's what it's the only gun I carry that does not have a light on it. And it's at this point that I need to present the issues that I've had specifically with the G43 model. I've looked at the G19, G17 models, and it doesn't appear to be the same issue as with the G43 model. So let's go back down on the tailgate and I'll talk, talk to you about that. So right here with the G43 model, as you can see, I have the ETS seven round mag in it right now. And in some of the shooting, you saw me using the ETS 12, 11 or 12 round mag. And that is because when you put a flat base plate mag in, it swallows the whole mag. You can't, essentially can't even access the magazine. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of testing or thought put into this mag pouch. The holster is great, but when it comes to the G43 mag, um, you need to run, at minimum, you need to run at least an extended mag 
or a mag base plate so that you can access the magazine. Now, when I presented We The People with that issue, they said, well, you can, there's been significant testing with the G17 and G19 for about a year, um, but obviously no testing with the G43. Otherwise, no shooter would have approved this, uh, this setup. And they said, well, you can raise this up, which you absolutely can raise this up. The problem then becomes that you have to either raise the gun side clip, belt clip, up this one notch, which isn't nearly high enough, but it would start eating the gun. So when I mean by eating the gun, I mean your belt would end up being so high that you couldn't get a purchase on your pistol. And even if you did run this high enough uh, to access the flat base plate, you still have the problem of being able to access the flat base, place, base plate because the mag pouch is so deep. Also, you end up with this so high that you can never get your belt loops lined up. Now, you could run just the foamy clip on here and leave this hanging dangling. That is an option. But at the same time, you still need to run either an extended mag or extended mag base plate in order to realistically access the magazine. Now to contrast this with other holster manufacturers, uh, the, the Falco holster, Falco G43, you can see that the mag carrier is not just shorter, but raised up accordingly so that this is all flat together. The spider concealment, still a two, two clip system. Again, mag and base plate, or you know, gun and, and mag are the, for the flat blade base plate is equal, and the magazine is considerably higher in order for you to be able to access it. And you can see how much higher it is than what your belt would be. This is this would be the proper way to mount a mag carrier uh, for the G43, and then even with the fierce defender, even though it only has the foamy clip. You can see that the mag carrier is considerably higher, sticking out of the belt clip, and shorter for you to be able to access a flat plate base plate magazine, and of course, as well as the normal, or as well as an extended mag. And while I don't have the G19 version of this, I've seen pictures of it, I've seen other people use it, and it does not appear to have the same issues, that the mags do come up more even with, uh, the magazine does come up out of the belt enough to be more even with the gun, but you can see from like this uh, G19 Nightfall Customs, the mag is higher. Of course, canted, this is straight. Some people like the straight, some people like canted. It doesn't matter, uh, but the magazine is higher for you to access the mag. And in the T-Rex arms, again, two belt clip system, the magazine is higher, the mag carrier is higher, and the magazine is even with the gun. So that is unfortunate that this has had such a massive downfall for specifically the G43 platform. Again, you can't access it at all. You can't raise this high enough to really access it. You have to have either a base plate extension or an extended magazine of some sort with the G43. Now for build quality, I think these are fine. I think these are great. I think it's the same build quality that I've come to expect from We The People holsters. I still like their products. I'm still gonna wear their holsters. I'm still gonna wear their t-shirts. I'm still gonna tell you how fucking delicious the, the, the bacon jerky is because it is, because I'm honest about my reviews. Uh, I think the build quality of this is great. I think the, the, the pistol fits great, good retention. Um, it, the belt clip height for the pistol is fantastic. I can access the firearm very easily. Again, it's ambidextrous. They just really drop the ball, massively drop the ball on the mag carrier side of it as far as an attached appendix carry. Now for separate carry, it is a different story. You can then run this however you like and put in a taller mag or a shorter mag or whatever it is that you, however it is you want to run it. Now that is it for the We The People Freedom platform. Don't forget about the bullet poles for the, 
for hoodies. All the links for everything will be down below. Check them out, especially, like I said, I think the G19 and G17 for that Freedom Platform are spot on. Uh, they're aware of the issue. Hopefully they fix the issue with the G43 platform. Thank you to all my patrons out there. You guys are awesome. If you want to support the channel, Patreon is the easiest way to do it. Of course, you can also shop through affiliate links and all the stuff, all the links and information for that stuff is down below. Thank you everybody out there for watching. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think what your opinion or what your experience i should say with we the people has been uh and thanks for watching everybody and we'll talk to you later